Uh, my journey to football started as soon as I was born. I was born into a Carlton loving family, which doesn't reflect very well right now when I'm playing at the Pies, but um, we actually used to catch the train in to the MCG and go past Vic Park and we used to hold our breath on the train because we weren't allowed to breathe in the air from Collingwood. So growing up, I didn't really know what I wanted to do in terms of a job. I knew I was interested in sport, didn't know what profession would best suit me. I wasn't the best of students. I was a little bit cheeky and got, a, got in a bit of trouble. So. I think going down the teaching path surprised a few people, but I um, actually did an AFL sports ready traineeship straight after year 12 and that gave me an insight as to what it would be like to work in a school environment and I absolutely loved it. Yeah, look, I, I never expect to be a, a captain. I think I, you know, I do pride myself on being a leader. I, I love what I can do and I love helping others and um, very honoured and humbled to be voted in. We've got a fantastic group of girls at the Collingwood Footy Club and fantastic leaders around me who support me and we all support one another. So yeah, as far as I'm concerned, there's 16 leaders on the field and um, we're all there to achieve the one goal. It has been really challenging sort of balancing work commitments and football commitments. Obviously we're after hours without training so you know a typical day for me would be getting up at six to coach here in our program, teach all day and then catching the training or driving into training and finishing up at 10 o'clock. So essentially not getting home till 10, 30, 11. So those are the challenges, sort of finding time to eat the right food, get your hydration in um, and obviously sleep and we know that sleep's really important.